Welcome back to another video. So today I am showing you how I freehanded this crochet top based off an image that I found on Pinterest. So follow along if you want to make your own. We're going to be starting with this little inner part because I'll need to figure out this stringy bit afterwards. And then this is the front. So what you'll need is three colors, a pair of scissors, and a 2.25, well, either a two, two, two and a half to three millimeter crochet hook. But this is like, here's the cotton. I went to Sostrin Green and got this cotton. It's really nice cotton actually. And then you'll need some scissors. I've got my electric guitar scissors. And then, yeah, and you can use whatever colors you want. I'm just using exactly the same colors as the picture. So here's the start. And what we're gonna do, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna say that this is completely freehand. I never worked out anything. So it might hit me in the face later, but for now it's working. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cotton and you're gonna do a slip stitch. And you place your needle through the slip stitch and then we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Cause I kind of think I want like a bigger circle in the middle. Like you can kind of see there. So as opposed to four, we do five. Then you place your crochet needle into that first chain that you did and do a slip stitch so you catch the yarn and pull through both loops. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna chain one and we are going to do eight double, uh, eight single crochets. So one, two, and for those of you who don't know what a single crochet is, it's stick your needle through the gap, catch the yarn, pull it through, so you have two loops on your needle, catch the yarn and pull through two loops again. And then we've done that eighth stitch, and then to end this row, we're going to go into that chain that we did at the beginning, and we are going to slip stitch, so we're going to catch the yarn, and pull it through both loops. And then we're gonna start row two. So we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna increase in every gap. So that means we are gonna do two single crochets in every gap. So we should have 16 single crochets at the end of this row. So I'm gonna meet you at the end of this row once I've joined the two uh, joined with a slip stitch. Okay, so for row three, we are going to be doing the stringy bits. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. And so to start, I do, like you've got your slip stitch, loosen it like that, catch the yarn, and like pull it through, and then just go back into that same gap with a single crochet. So you have your two loops, and then you pull through both loops. And now I'm gonna do, I'm crocheting the wrong way. And then I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna do that same thing in that, in that same gap. So make your, maybe I think that's like two centimeters. Catch the yarn and then pull it through. So you've got like a little V stitch going on there. Now we're gonna chain one, two, three, and I'm gonna skip one stitch. So one stitch, like that, yeah. And you're gonna make it loose again. So like pull your needle up for maybe one or two centimeters. I can't really tell how many centimeters that is. Then catch and pull through. So you do like a little single crochet at the end of each one. 
you chain one to separate and then you're going to do this another one back in that same stitch so you're going to loosen it so you pull your needle up then you catch the yarn and only pull through one loop and then you catch the yarn and pull through both loops now we chain three one two three skip one two and then loosen pull through catch the yarn and pull through one loop and then pull through both loops chain one and do the same so it's like a single crochet nearly but it's not I don't really know how to explain this what it is you catch and you pull through one loop you pull through one loop again one two three chain three and then we skip so basically we want eight of these in total one two three four five six seven eight So I'll meet you once we have done eight of these. And then once you have your last one there, you're just going to slip stitch into that last gap. Well, you make your chain three, I forgot to mention, and then you slip stitch. But also, I don't know if it's a little bit difficult to see because I must say navy is quite difficult. It's like quite a dark color. So yeah. Okay, so now we're going to start with the next round, which is like, I would say, the solid bit. And it's basically just making, so you chain one, and then you just place two single crochets in every single stitch. Like every gap you see, make two single, okay, maybe not that gap. Yeah, two single crochets, one, two... One, two. Okay, so I've got 54 single crochets in each, like in total. But what I wanted to say is why I did an increase in every little gap thing. Um, it's because previously, like you couldn't see all, the, like I want it to look quite stringy, like this. So I think by increasing, like making stitches in between each, like each of these like loose single crochets, you it really like enhances the stringiness of it, which is what I want. And then I'm just gonna single crochet into that, I mean slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did. And then we're just gonna chain one and place a single crochet in every single stitch. So no increasing on this next round. So once you have finished like the row, you end it then you do your slip stitch, you might not need to cut it off. Just carry on with the row. So you, let me just show you. So you don't actually need to have like pieces of strings lying everywhere. So I'm just going to weave this in. But if you don't, um, if you do cut it off, don't stress, just weave it in and start from scratch. Like I'm doing. So, you get your yarn. And we're going to do a slip stitch. And then I'm going to just put my needle wherever. And I think, yeah, I'm going to pull that through. and do the little single crochet thing. Chain one, go back into the same gap, make it nice and long, and then do our single crochet thing. Then we're gonna chain one, two, three, skip two stitches, one, two, in the third stitch, do your long single crochet catch and then pull through two then chain one and then do the same thing ok 
Okay, and then you're just gonna continue that all the way around and it should look like this. So I'll meet you once I've done that with all me, all my little squares. Okay, so I've done two of these back, or the back panel, well, you yeah, two. And I think actually it will be enough. Um, but for the middle one, I just wanted to show you, I'm going to have to, well, the plan is to make it go straight here. So it's not like a circle because then I'll be dealing with like a circle. I kind of want it to be lower and then that, that this part like squares out. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we'll see if my vision works. So anyway, I've, I've done one, two, three, four, five, six of those little, I mean of the long ones. And then I chain three and I'm just going to move on. I'm going to skip one, two, three on the third gap. I'm going to do now smaller ones for a couple, a few stitches. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, let's see how that would work. Okay, so if I were to crochet from these gaps, okay. Okay, I'm gonna let me just do an eighth one for luck. I'm gonna do eight. Eight of these joined ones. So um, if you think you're unsure of what you're doing, here's just a reminder I'm also unsure what I'm doing. So because I'm just free handing this. Skip three stitches and now we back to the long run. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna do one more. One, two, three, skip one, two, three stitches. Make it nice and long. Chain one. Do that again. And then now we're going to do our eight short ones, even though I think this is more than eight blocks. But anyway. Oh. And then, okay, three. And now we're going to skip one, two, and then we're going to go there. So we're going to do our small ones. One. Two. Three. Four, five,
Okay, so this is not perfect. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches and no gaps in between. So obviously not the same. So my mats hasn't really worked out, but that's okay. Like it's not the end of the world. Um, so I'm gonna chain, if you can figure out for it to go equally, um, great, share it in the comments. But for me, this is a complete free hand. I haven't worked out absolutely anything. I'm just going for it. So like, there we go. So that's our middle piece. And then now we are going to join our squares together. Okay, so you can see I've kind of like single crocheted that together and I really just like how that looks. I'm just gonna pull it out and I'm gonna still keep my slip stitch. Yeah, so I'm gonna, okay, so we can see our little, like where it's flat there. I'm gonna have that on the top. So where um, my pattern worked out on the top, I'm going to keep that there and the bottom bit that was ugh, down up there. So I'm just going to take, do a slip stitch and I'm actually just going to go into the actual stitch because I really disliked how I had it before. And we might resort to slip stitching now. So I'm just going to Go through that top stitch there. And catch and pull through. Yes, I'm just gonna go through the tops of Not single crochet. So yeah, where the gaps are, like where you did your chain twos, that's where I'm going to join. Like I'm going to do a single crochet. Because I kind of want the stringiness to be seen of the... of your long single crochet. So I'm just actually going to chain two there so I can reach there without it shriveling up. Okay, now we can just flip that inside out and see what it looks like. Ah, much better. See, that's what I want. So you can see it's like sewn, but you can see still your stringiness. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop there. So stop where you can like see it all lines up and pretty flat. So yeah, you can see the back now is a bit flat and that's what I want. That's exactly what I want from it. And then we're just gonna do the same with the other side. So get your slip stitch and then just single crochet them all together. How I just did it. Lay that down there, wrong sides facing outwards. And I'm going to crochet from that gap there. Okay, 
So I'm just going to see how many stitches on this other one I did. So, I mean stitches, I mean these long things we did. One, two, three, and then the first one of the fourth one. Okay, so let's see this. You can see that middle single crochet where you chain one. Just going to go in there. So we've done one, two, three stitches now. Light flat and see how it looks. Yeah, I'm going to crochet a little bit further now. Yeah, I'm just going to go into that little corner there. Yeah. A bit off and then Okay, now this one I'm not happy with, so I'm going to crochet it more upwards towards towards that corner. So I'm only going to go like two rows, two of those squares in. Yeah, so I'm easy once I've done that. Okay, so now that's done. If it looks kind of messy, don't stress about it because when we do the border, it will neaten up. Uh, we'll just crochet over everything and you won't even see any of these funny strings everywhere. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, so this is what we've done for the cup so far. So we did chain five to start with, then join the first stitch with a slip stitch to create a little ring. Then you do nine single crochets for the first row, and in the second row you increase in every single stitch. So that means two single crochets in every gap, so that means you'll have 18. Um... 18 single crochets and then what we did is we did our long single crochets but we only do one in every gap so you do one in every gap chain two then skip a stitch and then do one in the next gap then you chain two skip a stitch do one of those long single crochets in the next gap and then when you come to the third stitch you increase because 18 divided by 6 is 3 so you should have like like 6 stitches in that 6 stitch you increase and then or like we can do 18 divided by 6 which gives you 3 or vice versa 18 divided by 3 gives you 6 as well um because 6 stitches you get a triangle um, and then we do the same thing. So in between each increase, you chain three or two, whichever you feel like. Then you chain two again, skip a stitch, and then do your long single crochet. Okay, but now we're at the end there. And you obviously have three corners. But for somehow on this side, I've got like four. No, I don't. Or I do. 
Hmm, interesting. Anyway, what we're going to do now is I'm going to start with the next rows. Okay, so now I am going to start row four. And what I'm going to do is, yeah, one, two, three, four. I'm going to start, can you see this? I've joined with the slip stitch and then I've got one single crochet ready. So I'm going to do three, one, two, three, because it's a corner. And then you'll see at the end, we'll do three and then chain one and do a single, like to join it. But anyway, so in every gap, we are going to do two single crochets. So we're going to go one, two, and then one, two, one, two. So in every single gap there is, you are going to do two single crochets. One, two. And then when you get to the corners where you did your increase, you'll do six single crochets. But I'll show you when we get there. Okay, so we've done our two single crochets in that single, in that long single crochet. Now we're in the corner where we chain two to separate the two stitches. So we're going to do six. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to do two into the very next gap. One, two, and then two again. So you're just going to end up just doing two stitches in every gap and then I'll meet you once and you're just going to carry on six stitches don't forget in that corner and then three stitches in that gap and I'll meet you when we're there. Now we're going to our last three there one two three and then we're going to join with a slip stitch. And then that is your fourth row done and now I'm going to leave this as our bottom, so we're going to un like leave that not worked. So now we're going to start row 5, and we're going to chain 1, and then make a row of single crochets in every single stitch. So no increasing, just working your way around, but when you do come to the top, we are going to do three single crochets in the gap there. So in this top stitch, we're going to do three single crochets. So you can see that's our bottom and then this will be the top. So we're only increasing in that corner now. Okay, so we're in that third gap. They are at the top and I'm just going to show you. So you just do three single crochets. One, two, and then three. Then you just carry on until the bottom end there. Okay, so now I'm at the end there. You can see. And I'm just going to chain two. One, two, three actually. And then you're going to flip your work around. Like, like that. And we're now going to start with our gaps. So for row six, okay, so we've chained three, you're going to skip a stitch and we're going to make our gap. So you do your long single crochet and then single crochet, then skip chain two, skip one gap. So you do one long single crochet, chain one, skip a gap and then do another one. Chain one skip a stitch, do another one. So you, you don't want to make them too long for this row, but I'm just going to match them up to what I've done on this row. So if you've done one triangle, it might not be exactly the same as mine, but try match it up to your own very one. So chain one, skip a stitch, and then do your long single crochet. Okay, so we're just going to do this all the way around and then when you get into that third stitch at the top, you're going to increase. So you'll do your one long single crochet, chain two, and then back in the same stitch, do a long single crochet and then work your way all the way to the other side. And I'll meet you once we're done with that. Okay, so now I've crocheted to the end there. 
as you can see. Now we're going to start row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, row 7. So now for row 7, it's for the two rows of single crochet. So you're going to chain one. I've already done that. You're going to flip your work around. And then because the first stitch there is that long single crochet, you're going to do two single crochets. And then where you've got a chain one, you do a single crochet. And then you do two two single crochets and then one single crochet you're going to do that all the way up until the top and obviously in this where we increase you're going to do three double crochets and they're just going to carry on it's pretty simple so now we've done one row of the like kind of increasing so like two single crochets then one single crochet then two single crochets then one single crochet and then we do one row of that and then you chain one and then you just do another row but no increasing so row eight is no increasing of single crochet so you just do a single crochet in every gap but anyway if you want to forget about the counting kind of thing it's basic the like basic pattern for this um little triangle is a row of two like two rows of single crochet but the first row is increasing and then the second row is just um, going like crocheting normally no increasing and then the next row you start with your long single crochets and then you do your two rows of single crochets where the first row is your two your two single your increasing row and then the next row is just plain so you alternate between I'll show you in this triangle you alternate between your long single crochets and then your single crochet rows and then long single crochet then your single crochet rows but always in the first row of the single crochet you um, increase but obviously like I showed you it's a bit different for this triangle and then the first row of this it's of of the increasing is just it's a bit different but yeah it's pretty just basic it's not nothing, it's a very irregular, it's a complete and utter free hand on my behalf. This is just what I've concluded. But then like also you can see here, I meant to have two rows, but obviously my brain forgot to do two rows, so I only did one. And then, yeah, and then I did carried on doing the stitches. But in these last two rows, like, you can see how much longer the single crochet is as to these two as like these beginning rows these three rows so yeah you can and then also you don't have to make it as large as mine you can make however many stitches you need um yeah and this isn't for me this is for a friend so i'm making the size to fit her but if you have smaller boobs you can stop like there or there like you don't have to do as many and you can make them if you want the gaps bigger, you can even make them bigger. Like, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You just need a triangular shape that fits your boob. Um, so, that's what I'm doing for this. And then I'll meet you once I've completed both these triangles. Because I don't think there's much more to explain. Um, it's a pretty free-handable pattern, I think. So, yeah. I'll meet you once I've done both of these triangles. Okay, so... Once you've got your cups, you need to just crochet them together, single crochet, it's pretty simple, so you just join it, but I need to make it higher up, so you're going to have to try on the top, like against you to see kind of how you want it, so I've, this is for my friends, I've just tried it against her and we need it to be a little bit higher up, so I'm just going to place my needle in there and I'll just show you kind of okay so what's gonna happen now is okay you can see you crochet that together up to like there but you're just gonna have to try it on yourself and see how it fits on you um and then now i've got this back panel and what i'm gonna do now is i think i'm gonna crochet well the idea is to get this together so <coughs> i'm gonna do a border on this first go a couple rounds and then also do a border around this and then join them and then make the difference up I think because that's not gonna hmm, maybe we'll see 
Um, okay, so on one end of the back, I kind of did the single crochet, how, um, how we did on all the other rows, like, in, in the long single crochet you do two, and then in the gap where you chain there, you do one, and then two, then one. So, yeah. And then I'm going to chain one and go for a couple rows of just normal single crocheting, no increasing. Okay, so you can see we've got, I've done like three, four, four rows of single crochet. And I'm going to flip this over like, like that. So we got the seam on the inside of the top. And we're just going to single crochet up until that's joint there, like to the top. So I'll meet you once that's done. So you can see here, I'm, I'm now attaching the back part to the front part. So I'm just gonna single crochet, it's pretty simple. Like, I can literally just speak you through it. And I've got them both facing the, um, the wrong side towards me, like on both sides. So the seams on the inside, like you can see there. Okay, so when doing the other side, I'm going to start from the top down and go row one, two, and three. And on row three, we start crocheting on the side because I want to crochet from the bottom up, not top down. Okay, so to connect the, the front and the back, I connected them like with the wrong ways facing towards me so you can see so you have the seam on the inside and then you can just flip it out and then that's what we're working with so pretty simple but what we're going to do now is that we are now going to make the border for this back bit so what what how we're going to do that is it came we've got our Our single our loop there from joining and then I'm gonna just flip that around okay so for the front I want like a little a little bit of um, a frilly border so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna actually okay so for so we've just joined up there, so we've still got our yarn attached. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to start with... Okay, I'm actually going to cut this off. If you use scissors, recommend using scissors, but I'm just snapping it off. And then pull and tighten. So now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to start from here... from that seam because if I were to start from that seam I'd be working like backwards and I don't want the stitch to go backwards I kind of want it just facing forward but I don't actually think starting at whichever seam will change the way but anyway I just think thought that so what we're gonna do I'm actually just gonna make a single crochet there and then you're just going to single crochet. And then like we did for the other rounds, we're just going to place stitches. So two stitches in the actual stitch in this like long single crochet and then one, one single crochet in... In the open gap where you did your chain to separate each each stitch okay and then you're gonna do that right across to the other side and where you have these funny little strings everywhere like it looks kind of messy just cross like keep them to the left and single crochet over them and then it will look quite a bit neater so I'll meet you once I've done that and then obviously here there's normal stitches so you'll do your normal single crochet and you'll do that to the other end flip one and then work your way back to the side so 
yeah i'll meet you once we've done that we have single crocheted for two rows so that way and back and now our work is facing the right way so this is all the right way around which is what i wanted so now we're going to start with the border so we're going to chain one and we're going to make these small little like scallops so i'm going to do six single crochets in one stitch so one two three four five six then i'm gonna skip a stitch so skip that next stitch and then slip stitch and then you have your little scallop and then we're going to do it in the next stitch six single crochets so that's two that's six skip a stitch slip stitch anchor that scallop down and then move on to the next stitch okay so now we're going to do this all the way around the back over the front and then try avoid going into those um that top stitch there because we still have to make the straps and but we'll do that at the end so you know in that last stitch you should have three single crochets avoid going into the middle of that those three single crochets so anyway we're going to go all the way around down across there up down and then we'll slip stitch down there and then i'll meet you once that's done okay so you can see it this is what it looks like once you have done the border around all the end and then to end i just did a slip stitch and then it just worked out perfectly perfect and then now we're going to start the um, the border well not there's no really border for the bottom but we're going to do what we did for the two rows that we did at the back but around the, um, the entire border so what we're going to do i'm just going to find a, sp a spot do a slip stitch like that and catch the slip stitch and just single crochet okay obviously it's going to be a bit different for the bottom because we are working like the vertical like i don't know how to explain that but we are working there so obviously i'm going to do like let's say four single crochets in that gap one two three four and then move on to the next one one two because like you just have to improvise because you don't want to make too little where it would shrivel up and you don't want to make too many where it would kind of look all baggy do you know what i mean so here is slightly shorter so i'm going to go three one two three then I'm going to move on to the single crochet. So basically, you're just going to do this all the way around. Obviously, here, you just do your normal single crochets and you do what you did there. You go around and around and around. Okay, that's the second cup. So you'll basically be repeating what you're doing. And then when you get to the back, we know what to do with those squares, right? We do out where your long single crochets are you do two single crochets and then where you just have your chain like there you'll do one single crochet and then you'll work all the way around and then until you reach that point slip stitch and then do another whole round of single crochets no increasing so i'll meet you once we've done that oh i literally thought i was filming but i wasn't um so what i've had to resort to is pulling out all the stitches that i did like for the base row of single crochet because there was too many so basically let me explain so obviously we want our boob part and like this area obviously that goes around your bust to be bigger 
you guys your boobs take up a bit of space you know but then you want the area a bit beneath your boobs to be quite tight you don't want it to be like in line otherwise you're gonna look like a tank so what i need to do is make a little bit less stitches because i think i had too many so yeah i'm just gonna make sure i have less stitches so it's a bit more fitting and yeah i'm taking you along with me in my mistakes with my mistakes so you don't have to do the same ones as me and take 10 hundred hours but yeah god like it like this okay so oh, what we got here is so we've done obviously less stitches I did count how many stitches I did just to let you know but um I'd like I'll show you what I'm less stitches looks like well I don't really think my stitch count would really matter um unless you're doing the exact same thing as me which I don't know you have to do what fits you otherwise it won't like if you do exactly what I'm doing it might not fit you so yeah this is what it looks like you can see it's not like jutting outwards like it looks kind of fitted oh, this looks ridiculous so i've got 180 stitches to go around the back like around like you know the bottom okay anyway now that's gonna do is i'm i want to before we start with the new colors, I kind of want to put in a little frill at the bottom, like at the, to show that the blue is done. Uh, it is in the picture, I think. So what we're going to do to start with is, it's, you know, we did the frill on this end. It's just a little bit different. Three, four, five. Skip that stitch, go into that stitch. So skip a stitch and then slip stitch. And then skip a stitch and start again with your five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Skip a stitch, slip stitch, skip a stitch again. And then your five single crochets. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like that's kind of what it looks like it's a bit longer than actually i don't think i like the look of that okay now we're changing the frill okay so we're gonna go two three four five five single crochets skip a stitch slip stitch and then go directly after the slip stitch start your five single crochets again two three four five skip a stitch slip stitch then go okay i like that i like that so you can see So it's five single crochets, skip a stitch, slip stitch, and then directly into the next stitch, five single crochets. So it's pretty simple. I did show you how to do this border. So like, it's just a little spanner in the works, but yeah, I think this is, yeah, I, I like that. And then also I failed to mention, do it in the front loop of every stitch because on the next round, we're gonna work into the back loop to start with the, the other colors. So, and I'll show you when that's done. Okay, so we have completed our little frilly bits. You can see the crocheted into the front loop because you can see that ridge there. Anyway, we're gonna cut off that. And I'm just gonna catch my yarn and pull it through to fasten it off okay then you're gonna carry um you're gonna take your next color which will be the red 
and so I'm going to start with this little slip stitch or slip knot, whatever you call it. And I'm just going to where I ended off there. I'm just just before I ended off, I'm just going to place my needle there so I can crochet over this yarn. So I'm going to hold hold that yarn to the left there and just crochet over single crochet. So now you can see where that ridge is. That's where we are making our single crochet. So we're going into every single stitch. So it's, this is now the back loop of our stitches. Okay, so you can see We've got the little top here and for the first row of bread I did I think I was 10 rows and then yellow 12 rows and then I'm going to do 10 again and then I'm going to do another 12 rows of yellow and then a tiny little bit of red that's looking good how nice the back looks We're gonna chain two and then we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Let's make it six half double crochets. Skip two gaps and then slip stitch. And then into the next gap do five, six half double crochets. Skip two stitches. One, two. And that third stitch, slip stitch. And then directly after the slip stitch, do your five half double crochet, six half double crochets. Okay, so I've braided like all the colors together, like two strands of each color. Now I'm just gonna put them in the top. So I've done them long enough so I can just like make them tie them like on the top so it will be like this. Okay. That one goes through. Oh, I don't think I've made this, hopefully it's long enough. If not, I can just do more. I can make an, another one. So this is what I was meaning, Millie. So you can bow it. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant by halt neck, though. It's like you do just tie it then around your neck. Yeah, but I wanted to make it long enough to bow. Oh, no, but you didn't. No, but I can make another one. Because that still looks kind of cool. Oh, oh, okay. No, that's cute. Strappy. Strappy. That is cute. Yeah. 